I've already got a short crust pastry base, okay. baked blind. Yeah. So this is made with about 225 grams of flour, about 125 grams of butter, yep. um, a pinch of salt, and then a bit of egg just to bring it together. You know, okay. rub in the butter. Uh, about half an egg could yep. be enough just to bring it together. Yep. Chill the pastry, roll it out, line the tin, and bake it blind. Cover it with paper yep. and baking beans. And this is perfectly baked blind. You see the way it's just kind of pale golden and just dry on the base, yep. but not overcooked. Okay, so now we've got, okay. we've got that there. So now we're coming over now, to the Now, for the actual filling, yeah. we have got eggs, yeah. tomatoes, cucumber and dill is for a salad, which I'm okay. going to serve okay. with the tart. But I've also got chives here and, of course, smoked mackerel. And a cooked onion. So you've chopped up an onion. Chopped up an onion. It down. Cooked it in a little bit of butter or olive oil. It does need to be cool before okay. you add it in with the eggs. Brilliant. Well, listen, so that's I'm that, that's, is that everything? So I'm now that's leaving you to make this masterpiece Perfect. and come back to eat it. So I need to make the filling for the tart. I need three eggs. Whisk them up. Oops, excuse me. A bit of shell. One. And another egg. And then I need two yolks. And the two yolks, of course, rather than adding all whole eggs, will just add to the richness of this tart. And this is a rich tart. And that's okay. Don't have a big slice. It's just gorgeous. And I've also got in here just a little bit of cream. <laughs> 450 ml of cream. But this tart will serve a lot of people. You could have this as a starter or, of course, for a main course. Perfect for al fresco summer dining. Whisk in the cream. and then add the remaining ingredients. So I've got the onions, the sweated, as in the cooked and cool onions. There we go. And some chives, just a little small bunch of chives will be perfect. Is mackerel a bit of a seasonal fish in, in Ireland? Mackerel, yes it is. Um, the first of it really just came in, I suppose, about four or five weeks ago. Yeah. And at this time of the year, it's absolutely gorgeous in summer's evenings to go down to the pier and just you can catch it off the end of the pier. I've got four tomatoes here, and these tomatoes have been peeled and seeded. And then cut the tomatoes into quarters and scoop out the seeds. And that's just to get rid of any excess moisture. So you just have the pure flavour of the tomato here and not all the watery, seedy bits.